Dialysis is mainly indicated for kidney failure patients. In kidney failure, there will be accumulation of urinary toxins and also there will be imbalance of electrolytes and fluid. Once we advise the patient to undergo dialysis, they have to undergo dialysis lifelong or temporarily. Let me tell you, in a patient of acute kidney injury or chronic kidney disease patients, then the dialysis is done temporarily or till kidney transplantation is done. So these dialysis uh, are two types. One is the hemodialysis, the second is the platelet dialysis. Hemo means blood. So the removal of the toxins from the blood is known as a hemodialysis. We have uh, three or four types of hemodialysis, which includes something which we do in ICU. These are all uh, called as a SLED or uh, CRRT. Uh, and regular hemodialysis on OPD basis that we do are uh, the hemodialysis as well as hemodiafiltration. Hemodialysis can be done in the patients of acute kidney injury as well as a chronic kidney disease. And the other form of dialysis is peritoneal dialysis for which a catheter will be inserted in your abdomen and through which a fluid exchanges will be done either twice or thrice per day. And dialysis nowadays at Ashoda Hospitals, we have two options, routine dialysis as well as the newer option which is called as HDF with that is hemodiafiltration. That means in the kidney failure there are toxins such as small toxins, middle toxins and large toxins. Usual dialysis machines remove only the smaller toxins, whereas the middle molecules are cleared with a special technique called as hemodiafiltration. So whom will we advise uh, hemodiafiltration? Patients who are on long-term dialysis, they are getting dialysis since 5 years, 6 years, 7 years. We will be telling them to go and shift for hemodiafiltration. These technologies will help not just improving the lifestyle and also the longevity of the patient, but it also improves the quality of life of the patient. These technologies will also act as a bridge before the patient can eventually undergo a kidney transplant. You can have a good healthy life on dialysis provided you follow this tip. So it is our duty today to understand we have a significant burden of kidney disease in the community. If the kidney disease is picked up little early, we can delay the progression to dialysis or totally prevent the progression so that this population does not end up on dialysis.